Hi folks, in this clip I'll be doing a quick overview of the computer science curriculum for Key Stage 3 and Key Stage 4. On clicking the main button of the CO colon portal computer science illustrated here, you would come upon several units of study. So you've got home, skills, your seven modules, your eight modules, your nine, Two units of study for the key stage four pupils. One is an older unit. This is a, a new unit starting form this September. On this tab, you can see a unit of study for year seven. And this is one of the lessons, which has got a video, our main task, the learning objectives, a silver task, and a goal task. Here's another unit of study for the year nines, slightly more organized as I started to develop my skills in FROG. It's got a lesson title, objectives. This time I've added the keywords in here, a presentation, the worksheets again, and a video. These videos are continuously being updated as and when I buy resources or I get some newer resources which are very more precise and applicable to the curriculum. Right, moving on. Onto this next tab you see the key stage four modules all neatly organized. So you've got units one all the way down to unit seven, the computer science programming project. And this one was an add-on. Unit 8 was an add-on along with Unit 9. Here you've got some more tasks. Now, uh, I'm going to end this section over here and go on to the next one, which is how has the online curriculum developed? So it is in the process of continuous development, tweaking and changing the curriculum. For example, this is what I've been working on the new curriculum for uh, the pupils starting in this, this June or July. And here's the first unit of study. So this is J277 unit one, systems architecture. Again, I managed to insert a PDF file, which I've learned uh, to use. Here are all the lessons, pretty much the same structure with the new modules, the new contents, some of it is done, some of it I need to revamp and add some more learning objectives for lesson one, two, and three. Homeworks are all organized on this tab over here. Here is a test that they can do, the end of unit test. And here is a workbook that they can use during the course of study. Right, moving on to the next tab. Now here is uh, something that I've been experimenting with. Here are some list of quizzes that I've developed over a few years, which I've been using on and off. What I've learned is uh, some of the features in FROG, especially with the quizzes. Uh, for this quiz, I learned uh, about using this feature called Find Questions, which is really good. If you click on this, this opens up. Let me actually click and show you. So I can find questions that are related to this quiz over here. And it pulls up quite a few questions and I can add them to my quiz. So this is what I've done for some of these questions that I've added. So it is a fairly long quiz that goes on. This is the quiz that I'll be using with my year tens at the end of the module assessment. So this is something that I'm developing and then I've learned some of the features that I've learned. Right, on the next tab, this is on uh, some of the things, some of the more functionality that I'll be, that I've learned in FROG about using the um, 
mark book and the hand in folders I have I haven't done this before and I've just learned this new feature because most of the most of the key stage three as well as key stage four lessons we have hard copies as well as e-copies some of them are printed and put into folders and they have an end and end of module assessment which is again printed out and put into their folders evidence however I plan to use some of these this is as you can see in play I've used this for module four uh, ethical ch uh, challenges with the year nine pupils and you can see some of the replies over here which is quite good and here's my comment I'm not sure whether this is uh, something more I can add to this but I'm going to experiment with this more and more starting out with key stage three and then moving on to key stage four so this is something new that I have learned in the course of developing frog I hope this helps with um, what James has asked thank you very much for watching